All right, let's talk a little bit here about cupping. It's very difficult to track a belt properly when the belt's cupped. If you've joined us on any of our belt tracking webinars or in our live classes, you've probably heard the phrase, all rolling components steer the belt. In order for a rolling component to steer the belt correctly, that rolling component must be touching the belt. And if the belt's cupped, that rolling component can't touch the belt properly. So cupping comes from ex uh, exceeding the trough ability of the belt. Every belt is rated to trough to a certain degree. If you force that belt into an idler that is greater than the belt's trough ability, you'll eventually cause that belt to cup. Cupping can also come from heat. Sometimes chemicals can extract polymers from the top cover of the rubber, and that can shrink that rubber at a different rate than the bottom cover, and that can curl up or cup the belt. But one of the most common ways that belts can get cupped is when they're over-tensioned. And belts being over-tensioned, too much stretch on that belt can be fairly easily identified because they'll elevate or lift out of the carrying idlers. If a belt elevates out of that trough idler unloaded, that's usually a pretty good indication that that belt's over-tensioned and eventually that belt's gonna cup.